social media. It's terrible for your mental health, your social life, and just your quality of life. Research has found that it worsens mental health, self-image, and esteem, and is linked to depression, anxiety, and dangerous behavior. However, social media is also very beneficial. It can build an online audience. It allows people to connect with each other. And most importantly, it builds opportunity to build an online business and income from an online platform like social media. So the point is social media has both pros and cons. No, no. And by listening to this video right now, you probably want to maximize all these pros, all these positive benefits of social media while minimizing all the negatives. In this video, I want to explain how can you use social media to maximize all the benefits while minimizing all the negatives. Now, this video will have four distinct parts in order to keep it very simple. So the first part that we're going to talk about is, should you even use social media? In my general opinion, if you're an average dude who's only going to use social media to either talk to people or to scroll endlessly on social media feeds and the homepage, I wouldn't recommend you use it. Why? You just waste your time. There is no benefit. By doing this, you're maximizing the negatives and minimizing the positives, which doesn't make sense. It either means that you're stupid or you have a smooth brain. But other than that, I wouldn't recommend you use social media just for pure entertainment purposes alone. So in summary, if you're only going to be using social media to entertain yourselves, you probably shouldn't even use it. There's no benefit. However, if you want to use social media as an online platform to build opportunities, such as building an online audience, for example, that is a very useful ability to in order to grow and can be really only done and done very effectively on social media apps and platforms. So once you've decided if or if not you're going to use social media or not, we come to the second part of this video, which is why you must delete all social media apps off your phone and all your mobile devices. The average person spends over five to six hours a day on their phones and 99% of this time is spent on social media. I have a couple of my classmates who spend over six hours a day on TikTok alone. So imagine how much time is being lost six hours that is a lot of time you could be getting better sleep you could be studying more you could be pursuing a hobby instead you could be doing some other thing that will benefit your life more than just scrolling on social media endlessly see the reason that people use their mobile devices so much is social media i was the perfect example of this i spent hours each day watching youtube and once i deleted all social media apps including youtube off my mobile devices, my screen time dropped from several hours, three hours to five hours a day, to only 18 minutes. I'm serious, this is true. Just by eliminating social media from your phones, from your iPads, I was able to see a significant drop in screen time. And this allowed me to have so much more free time to do what I want to do. And now we've come to the third part of this video. If you're brave enough to delete all social media apps on your phone, the only place left to use it is on your desktop. However, your desktop is just another device for you to waste your time on, unless it isn't, which this part of the video will explain what extensions must you download in order to get rid of social media apps. Now, I want to talk about two that I use primarily. First one I'm going to talk about is Unhook. Now, this specifically targets YouTube. See, many people don't consider YouTube a social media app, but it is. So Unhook targets YouTube directly and allows you to get rid of the homepage entirely. Getting rid of the homepage on YouTube is by far the most beneficial thing that you could ever do. Now, the reason that social media apps are so addictive is that it's because of the homepage. You get rid of the homepage, all the recommended videos, everyone's feed, what everyone is posting or uploading on YouTube, it gets rid of it. That's it. And the next extension that I'd highly recommend you download is Newsfeed Eradicator. This targets also YouTube, but also targets Instagram and Facebook and even Snapchat. What this does again is it eliminates the home page. Everything else isn't as addictive as the home page. The home page is where you can see other people's stories. It's where you can endlessly scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll for hours and hours and waste your time. So by eliminating this again, you still be able to upload. You still be able to see other people's posts, especially the ones that you follow and search up, but you won't be endlessly scrolling and scrolling because again, there really is no point without the homepage. Same thing can be said for Facebook and Snapchat. 
and the cool benefit is that it's these extensions are completely free now obviously these extensions you can easily turn them on and off so again if you really just want to entertain yours if you're really just bored and have nothing to do yeah go ahead but if you're trying to work turn these extensions on so you block out distractions the fourth part of this video very important part is your world view on social media some people think that social media is the greatest invention ever created while others believe that social media is a dangerous tool that will destroy future generations well the point is is that you must view social media as a positive tool that you can utilize but one that can take over your life and consume you. It's best that you view social media as a business or as an online platform in order to grow who you are or what your goals are. You probably shouldn't view social media as this good force who's going to bring good to this world because there are negatives. And you probably shouldn't only view social media as, well, something that's very negative and that will destroy the world. There are positives and negatives, and it depends on how you use it. If you follow all these steps today, I guarantee you, you won't be distracted as you once were. You'll be able to minimize distractions while maximizing productivity on these social media apps. Yes! So, there's my spiel, and thanks for watching. If you do consider following all these steps, I'd highly recommend that you do. Please subscribe and follow me on my socials. So I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers in 2024. I'll be posting only... I'll be posting probably my weighted calisthenics progress, and that's pretty much it. Anyways, I'll see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed this video.